was a bit dark today. It's been a dark car ride over here. It has been a little bit depressing, hasn't it? If this is one of the the darkest podcasts today, don't be surprised. Losing all sorts. For some fucking reason, she's in all sorts. I've got speed dealers on as well. you got my new speed dealers on. I like them. Not, not as much as I like those orange ones. See, they still suit you. Do they? Yeah. Chic vibes. Yeah, well, I'm not I chic, don't know if you could put speed dealers and chic in a sentence. Yeah, I don't think you can. But, um, yeah, what's happening, buddy? What's your good? I don't feel like talking today. You know, it's a bit hard when you have a potty. Isn't it? Yeah. You know, like, what are we meant to do? I well, mean, it's predominantly an audio platform. And, I mean, who holds the potty together? The big dog. The big dog LDD. Well, we actually, Tops so, and I were just discussing who actually <laughs> holds it together when you were in the bathroom. And I said, um, he goes, mate, you're going to have to... Um, Step up today, I go, oh, like I do every fucking week. And I went wrecked and realised you weren't even here, so I couldn't even wreck Not you. Not true. Yeah? I would say it's I would say it's 50-50. I'd say 60-40. To me? All right, fine. <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> Let me insist. I'd say 60-40. And I feel like it's going to be an 80-20 job today Oh, for me. no. Mate, as soon Are as... Are you I, ready to rant? As soon as they, I've, like, my, I can... I can Come on. smell the podcast and yeah. I can smell the microphone and yeah. I, I'm ready. You feel good. I'm okay. okay, she's back. I'm back. So run me through what happened. Why are you such a depressed cunt? Nothing. I'm just like, it's just one of those days, mate. Yeah, you man. know? Mondays, I feel you. Just bloody Mondays. Yeah. I, I had a, a bit of a realisation as well. I reckon it's time the teddies went in the bin. <laughs> well, 29. I reckon it's time. Mate, you're about 24. Four years late? Yeah. Oh, I reckon you can have Ted's till you're 12. Yeah, Ted's till 12. I'll accept Ted's till 12. Not 29, though. 29's a bit of a stretch, yeah. Mm. So what, what, what brought this realisation about? Well, I mean, I won't go into details, Judge, but it's one of those situations where you're not expecting anyone over. Company. You're not expecting someone to come over to your house, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Anyone to come over to your house and so, you know... Your room's a bit messy. You perhaps have left your three Teds on the bed yeah. when you usually, you know, pop them underneath the bed. Well, why are you going to the, who's in your house if you're going to the bedroom? Just like people are over, you know. Oh, okay. Just like a party. Just, yeah. It's like of a party. Like two, like. A, par- a party of mates. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, and I thought, shit. They are bang smack in the middle of the bed. Yeah. What do you do there, you know? Do I jump on the bed and go, whoa? You go, oh, my bloody roommate always leaves a dumb titties on my bed. Oh, yeah. You just go, oh, wasn't, expe- you know what? wasn't expecting company. Oh, my roommate, <sighs> she does this when she thinks, you know, I'm having a people back for kick-ons. Yeah, just she as a just joke. She just throws the, the titties on here. It's you know what would kill that joke immediately, though? Is when you uh, then scramble off the bed, grab one of the titties, which is what you told me you did, took it back to bed and put your eye mask on and fell asleep. <laughs> That would make someone think, mm, perhaps. Perhaps it wasn't a joke for the rumor. I think those might be her Perhaps titties. they are hers. Yeah. I think <laughs> maybe she was fucking with me. I think they perhaps are hers. When you're scrambling in the corner of, a tw- yeah. of your room of it as a 29 year old, going, now should I have Bunny Barry? Or should I have Timmy Teddy? Or should I have Leon the Llama? Um, Leon Llama. Leon Llama. And then you go back, put your arm mask on, and fall straight to sleep. When you wake up in the morning and your white noise is blaring. <laughs> So loud. Like, it's literally like as if there's a rainstorm in my room. It's like... Fuck. The, the, I hate that white noise shit. I love it. It's I for babies. To go, it's it, to put baby to sleep. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Because <laughs> that makes a lot of fucking sense. <laughs> Jesus, you got Larry the Llama under one arm, fucking eye mask on. You've just had a, a warm cup, by the way, a sippy cup of milk, and you put on baby sounds to go to sleep. You're I've, a child. I've always listened to White Noise. Have I, have, I have my fan going. I love that the Spotify rap thing has just um, come about and your number one song was White, White Noise. Noise. Do you know... Closely c- followed by WAP. Oh, of course. You, White Noise then WAP, quite a... Yeah. Yeah, Contrast. Fucking hell. I've got a controversial opinion on that. I love seeing what people have listened to. I no, love seeing their favourite music. Do you know why it annoys me? It's because... 
alternative people post <laughs> it. That, that's super cool. Oh, yeah, okay. post it being like, yeah, my top artist was Sea Eagle 1299. Yeah, and we're, yeah. I'm like, who's that? And they're like, you don't know Sea Eagle 1299? Yeah. Sea Eagle 1299 is the coolest band from Newtown. Yeah. Shut they, up. They just got the drummer over from Faded Croissants. <laughs> yeah, like the sickest band. Oh, you haven't heard of Faded Croissants? That's so weird. No, they played it, at the end more last week. Yeah, I'm I surprised you weren't there. I don't doubt you haven't heard of Faded Croissants, man, because like they're pretty Pretty NZ. Have you heard of the Two Left Socks? Oh, they're so sick, old I man. I actually love Two Left Socks. Oh, they play such good jazz. <laughs> the best, but the it's best. like a jazz retro hip hop. Um, yeah, it's country mix. It's like nothing you've ever heard before. <laughs> it's yeah. sicker. Have you heard of Similarly United? <laughs> Have you heard of Simile United? I think I have. Did they play at the Horden Pavilion on yeah. a Tuesday? And they actually played at this festival. The festival was called, um, what was the festival called, Lou, again? I think the festival was called the Green Sof. Yeah, the Green Sof. The Green Sof. The Green Sof. Yeah, yeah that's right. It was right. so good. Yeah, uh, they actually opened. And we just had IPAs the whole time. Oh, uh, that's all I fucking uh, drink. Only, yeah. only. And just leaves. Yeah. That's all I eat. It was a full vegan festival. <laughs> yeah, full vegan. Except for all the cock I sucked in the um, port loos That was the only meat I had that weekend, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> no matter what we do, Lou, I'm always going to bring it back to some yeah. cock sucking. Well. Anyway, did you see Trash Can Billy do that <laughs> mad set? <laughs> That was good. That was really good. <laughs> but yeah, no, okay. It's just a platform for people to be like, I listen to this ulti band you don't know. Yeah, I, I, I agree or with that someone, side of it. Or for someone like me who knows mine's obviously Justin Bieber. To be like, I'm his biggest fan. Yeah, I, I, but I'm quite interested. Like my mate Streety, Amy Street, who, you know, he is a... a you know, ulti kind of a guy, you know what I mean? Listens to all that ulti shit. Mm. And he posted his and I just wrote back to him like, I do not know one fucking person, yeah. one of these people. But like... What was yours? Let me guess your number one, Luke Combs. Number three this year. He was number one last okay, year. Okay, number one. You won't guess my number one. Is it a hip hop artist? Yes. That has French Montana. French Montana was number five. Bullshit. You've just got three or five. Bed wet is for life, Keep mate. going, bro. Okay, um... I reckon I'm going to fuck it up here. Who's the guy that's in Dick Down in Dallas? Rashad was in there. <laughs> Oi, maybe I found my calling. Guessing that's actually unbelievable. Guessing people's top songs. Hold on. Because you know my other party trick? I've told you how I can name any car you'll, you'll ever see on the road, right? You can name any car. Yeah, like if we're driving past, I'll go, Vida Bamarok, oh, Toyota like Corolla, Hyundai Getz. So you know all cars. Yeah. Is that a, you, what you're saying your trick is? It's a hidden talent. So Great song, though. My top artist was Machine Gun Kelly. You've never played that on our car trips. I'll tell you why my top artist was Machine Gun Kelly, because he did, released a song called Roll the Windows Up, and I reckon I played it 500 times. So that's why he yeah. was, was off one song. My and then second was Tyler Childers. Who's that? He's like a country singer, then Luke Combs, then Daytime TV, then French Montana. Wow, pretty good for me. Really fucking Three good for five. You, yeah. I um every year mine's always Bieber and White Noise, but D Dua Lipa snuck in close to Biebs this Is year. She the little minx. Because I always listen to the Don't Start Now, and you know that one. No. <sighs> look, you haven't look. Hey, I haven't you know sung Luke? in a while. You haven't sung in a while. To be honest, throat's not feeling too good today. I won't. I won't put anyone through it. Might sound better. You, yeah, you with a compromised throat what's might sound it, better um, than really, you What's like a real deep song? She fucking hates me. La, 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 la. <laughs> I tried too hard and she tore my feelings like I had none. And ripped them away. Yeah, it's way worse. Is it? Yeah. You know what will sound good with this husky voice of mine? With arms wide open. <laughs> She <laughs> fell on a fur and I say, you'll it, show it me. Oh. It doesn't sound good. Who else is good? Do you believe in love after love? That was better. That was the best one. Perhaps that might be in the top two songs for the singing performance. So have we, have we, we've decided on the 16th of December, Friday yeah. the 16th. I actually like 
genuinely don't want to do it. I understand. Like, you I'm put yourself in this position actually, by being an arrogant cunt and saying you've got a great voice. This is what happens. It's it's you gonna make be, your bed, you gotta lie on it, doll. With three teddies. <laughs> with three with three teddies. It's some gonna be embarrassing. Like really embarrassing. Very much so. Like it's not just like you get up there and you sing for thirty seconds. Like you've got to complete the entire song. Yeah, it's karaoke, dog. It's four minutes of m- misery. But this is why it won't be that embarrassing. Because number one, there'll be punters in the pub. Number two, people are going up there every fucking three minutes to do mm. songs. You're just one of a myriad of people who are doing it. Number I think three, it, you should be used to being hyper embarrassing. That's just oh. it's part of you. It's part of who you are. Well, I think it cockbox me a bit. The singing. <sighs> Look. If, if that's what you reckon is the biggest issue, is the singing, mate? That's what cool. do you reckon my biggest issue is? You've got three teddies on your fucking bed, Lou. Three teddies. But it's not... You're 29. Judge, it's not that I need three teddies. It's the fact that I like to hug something like a pillow. Hug a pillow. I hug a Wait pillow. Wait for me to back myself up. I, it's why I like to hug something like a pillow, but sometimes the pillow can just be too big, whereas three teddies is like the perfect amount for my wee arms. You know what else I could wrap my arms around? Peter Dicklidge. That's what you could call your next boyfriend's dick. It's Peter Dicklidge. Well, you know one names. Yep, yeah, yeah, you do. Is yours named? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You've never told me it's named. I have. We all named our cocks. Mine's Mr. McCat. Because I look like a meerkat. So it's Mr. McCat. What are some of your other friends? My mate. Uh, oh, fuck, I was about to name him. <laughs> I was about to name him. One of my friends is called Mr. Donk because um, it's like 11 inches. We've got Mr. Stallion. We've got uh, There was one bloke called Mr. Sapling because he had a really small cock and a heap of pubes. So it was just like a sapling in, in between all the pubes. There was... Um, <laughs> What else was there? This is so good. What else was there? It, anyway, they all started with Mr. And I'm Mr. McCat. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like so there's no other reason it's a meerkat. Because you know how they just kind of pop up? That's at least it, yeah, expected. Yeah, correct. So you're just in a job interview. And Mr. <laughs> Mr. McCat. Pow, pow, pow. You know those games that... Um, I got a job at a um, a game arcade where you go where you've got the hammer and there's all those holes thum, in the thum. thing and it was just like dish, dish, but it was my cock. You just you'd lie underneath. You'd just <laughs> I'd pull, lie pull, underneath. Pull. I'd lie underneath and just pull myself back, forward, right, left. <laughs> That's up. why you were yeah. hired. <laughs> They're like, we need Mr. McCat. We need Mr. McCat. We need that thing now. It needs to pop out every three seconds. I'm like done, but I'll get two. Every Easy 2. for 8. me, mate. Every two point eight, you'll get out of me. Average. I don't know. Bedwards out there. You name your cocks. So. Alternatively to our female bedwetters, do you name your respective appendages? I um, had a... Mm. No. Risty Queen? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what I was going to say is... Oh, it's, it's a bit cock-blocky. It, it, look. I had a bunion on my foot. Okay, glad you said foot. <laughs> <laughs> and I named him Grant. That's fine. I thought you were going to go, that's fucked. No, that's fine. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Well, Grant's gone now. So run me through a bunion. Actually, Judge, self-diagnosed. It was just hard skin. Okay. It was just like a callus. Okay, you've got a callus. From yeah. from going for walks so much and it rubbing on my, against my sneakers. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it, was, it was Grant the callus, sorry. Okay. So he, uh, Not even alliteration. I just, Why wouldn't have you called him Barry the Bunion or Bert? Brett, I just looked Bart. at him and thought, you, you're a, you're a Grant. You're a Grant. Weird how you say Grant and not Grant. That's Grant's a, very American. Well, it's more Australian. Oh, well, yeah. What do you, know. you say Grant? Grant. You say France or France? France. Pants or pants? <laughs> pants or pants? Answer the fucking question. Pants. Exactly right. So why are you saying France and dance and fucking Grants? France, dance. Grants, pants. Pants, pants, pants. Grand, France. You've lost pants. me. What's the pants got to do with it? Same shit. Pants, pants. Pants. You would never call it pants. Well, then why are you saying it? Which one would you say? Pants. And I'm saying pants? I would keep that across the board with France and dance and grants. Because <laughs> you've got... A- <laughs> 
God, Jesus. This truly is the biggest load of shit, this podcast. So now, much dribble. Oh, like, literally 20 <laughs> minutes of dribble before we've even got into anything. What know. have we even spoke about? Mr. Meerkat. Yep. Three titties for a 29-year-old. Yep. Yep. Pants, dance, grants, and friends. But, uh, what, <laughs> what I'm saying is grant is spelled G-R-A-N-T-S. Or a, a, a T, sorry. Pants is P-A-N-T-S, but you're saying grant and pants. Grant's you know what, pants. mate? I told you I was, was feeling a bit off. Yep. That's just gone in one ear, out it's the other. Much. It's, it's too, too much, much for, for today. today. It's just, let's just, just nice and quiet for me today, would you? Just... You know, rain it in a bit. Let's yes. mate, let's do something easy for you right now. Okay. Let's just do red light, green light. Oh, perfect. You know what I mean? Let's thanks, ease thanks you into so it. Thanks so much. I'm here to look out for you. Thanks so much. I've got a great one to start. This was sent in by a bird called Abby Houston. Okay. Red light, green light. Ordering a glass of milk on a first date. <laughs> <laughs> Can I paint a picture? You show up to a date. You sit down, it's a lovely restaurant. He's a good looking guy. He's wearing a nice shirt. You know, you like your finance sort of guys. They're dressed well and they're fucking, you know what I mean? He's dressed well. Good looking, good jawline. Nice brown hair, like a brown hair with a bit of a quiff in it or whatever the fuck it's called. He looks good, put it that way. Okay. The ambience, You're painting a great picture The ambience here. in this restaurant is second to none. The lighting's perfect. There's a live band, but they're playing like light violin music. Nice it's like jazz. just quite nice, you know? You sit down, you're looking gorgeous. You've got a nice dress on. Some lovely jewellery. Sit down. The menu. He's like, order whatever you want, Dal. You're like, hmm. I'll have that 1946 vino. I don't know what wines are, but you know. Come up. Vino or Chardonnay. Right. He goes, <clears throat> okay, yep, so the vino for the lady. And I'll just have, mate, I'll just have a tall glass of milk. Skim or full fat cream, sir? Um, I'd have a, could we make it full cream milk? Yeah, have you just got that out back? Full cream milk. Perfect. Any starters, Dal? It's a red. It's got to be a red. It's a fucking red. <laughs> it's got to be red. I don't know why. One of my guy mates every Sunday drinks milk. <coughs> like skulls. Like that's his like drink of choice on a hang hangover. I, I'm with him. Oh. I'm with him. Yuck. Dude, a fucking... like. A Anyone drinking a glass of milk anywhere, just like pouring a glass of milk, is a red. Oh, no, no. No, it's not. Uh, Mi yeah, it Mi is. Milk's fucking red hot, mate. Um, Especially nope. a chalky milk. But like, yeah, chalky milk. But, but I, but I love a plain. I sculled milk before I came and picked you up today. That's disgusting. Don't yell at me. You call me five, mate. You have your hot fucking milk before bed. Milk, Bef mate. I drank some ice cold milk from the fridge. That's what people do. Here. They put it in the microwave, heat it up for thirty seconds, and give it to their three year old to go to sleep at night. That's exactly something you would do, buddy. I'm talking about an icy cold glass of milk. Now, Abby's full, made full a fat. Fucking no, full cream. Yuck. Abby's made a great point that ordering that on a first date at a restaurant is that would terrify me. If someone did that up, up, across the table from me. Imagine the place I'm going tomorrow night. And, and he I, orders a glass and of And I go, just a Prosecco, thanks. And he's like, you know what? Oh, I'm just going to start off on a milk. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> Let's just, it's a Tuesday. Let's just start on a milk, <laughs> On Lou. a milk. On a milk. She's a genius. I'd that, never think about that. I wonder, Abby, could you write into us and let us know if that actually has happened to you? I need to know if that's happened to anyone. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, a glass of milk? Mm. It's big, phenomenal. It's a big, big red. red for me. Red light, green light. Cheating on a board game. I've done it. But I've grown up. You know what, Green? I'll still do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm sorry. I knew, yeah, I knew yeah. as soon as I wrote that down, I was chuckling to myself. I, I, You're a sicko. You're, like, that's Green. You cheat in a card I'd, game. I'd nick a fucking Monopoly. Yeah. Money. If there was mon some money there that. If you're no the one, banker? No one knew, and I just slipped myself another 50 or 100 or whatever, I'd do it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm Green. I'm going um, red, but I reckon. You'd do it in a fucking heartbeat, mate. Yeah, right. Fuck it, Green. You'd, you would do it in a heartbeat. You tell him if there was a fifty on the ground that no one saw. You're not just you're gonna pick up and go, "Hey guys, um, someone's dropped a fifty. You got you, you're pocketing that bitch. There's only a few games you can cheat in that. Like you can't really cheat in charades or something, though, can you? I'm really good at charades. Oh, fuck no, 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 cunt. no, fuck no, me, Judge. Oh, Lou. Let's play. Let's play around. Ah. <sighs> Everyone's good at charades. Let's play around. You you voice it to everyone. Like, you, you say what I'm doing. Okay? So it's like obviously like, you know. Oh, okay. Two words. Film. First word. 
Look. Looking. Peering. Peer. Look. <laughs> She's not that good. Peer. Okay, fine. Okay, You're an idiot. Right. Second word. Yep. Finding Dory. Finding Nemo. Bam! <laughs> I told you I'm good. <laughs> Really good. <laughs> like, How could you not get finding? I've got my little hand up. Like, where is he? Yeah, but like, because you're not that, you're not any better than anyone else oh, is. No, I am good. What would someone that was not good at the game have done just then? Probably just be all shy and be like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm looking. I'm fine. Oh, you think because you're extroverted that you're really good at it? Maybe. <laughs> I love that. You fall into this trap every I'm really good. No, but if if you heard the word Look, if, sh- if you heard the word charade, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. let okay. me paint a picture. I might for you. give you one. You're at the pub. Yep. You're with a few friends. Yep. You're enjoying a lovely schnitty. Mm-hmm. Perhaps one of your friends has a steak, you have a bite of his. Okay. And then someone goes, Oh, I love the game charades. Where does your brain go instantly? It goes to you know who'd be really good at that? Lou. I I'll give you that tip. That's not it how I'd think at all. <laughs> I think, <laughs> but I love that you think that's I think, how I think. I think the word charade, you'd go, oh, yeah, Lou would be good at that. No, I <laughs> trust me. Trust me. Yeah, no, it's not only your world that revolves around you, it's also mine somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. In your brain, my world revolves around well, you. Like, Dude, Lou, okay, look, no, you would be let me really paint good. Paint the proper picture. I'm half teasing you. I've, I've walked past you guys at the pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As the comment said, and I've walked past, and you'd go, "Oh, hang on a moment." Lou would be really good at charades. Let me put it this way: if we were at a house party or something like that, or like you know, a bunch of friends sitting around drinking, someone's like, "You want to play charades?" I would want to team up with you. Yeah. So I, yeah, you'd be my, you'd be one of my first choices. Steph and I actually played this last night. I think Steph would be quite good at charades. She wasn't bad. Mm. She's very good at guessing, and I put that down to she's smart. Me being very also good at charades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, no, you'd be good as well. Yep. Um, she got a really high. What's that thing you guys do at high school? Well, HGC. We, it's an ATAR now, but we had a UAI. I think and, it was HGC. Oh, H, HSC. Oh yeah. And so our UAI, which is now the ATAR, she got ninety nine point one five. Genius. I got forty two point seven. Dumbass. Yeah. So I essentially. In Armadale, where we went to school, <clears throat> if you get stars, like asterisks, where you don't get like a number, you get to drink for free <clears throat> when you all finish school at the pubs. They give you free grog. Because you're a dumbass. Because you're a dumb cunt. So I was whoa. like, not dumb enough to get some free piss, which sucked, but not smart enough to be of any note. Oh, whoa, I'd like to go there and perhaps I could get mine transferred from New Zealand. Did you do really badly? Yeah, look, you know, like spelling, maths, English... Science. Geography. Geography. DNT. Just not my forte. Yeah. You know what? Just what, knowledge. You know what I was good at though? Drama. Dr- you would have been really, really I saw you good. Pu- saw you put your hand up to do something sexual, you sick, good, sicko. No, I wasn't. I you saw go, it. Like holding an Oscar. Yes. Like you'd win, you'd win an Oscar one day. I would. Yeah. Your turn. Red light, green light, Christmas decorations in November, putting them up. How early in November? Let's say from the 15th, mid-month. Green. I'm green. Green. I'll put the cunts up in June. No. No, I'm joking, but you know. No, you're low-key the Grinch. Lou, I love Christmas more than anything. Do you? I fucking love it. Oh, that I makes love me happy. Because I feel like, um, I, I, for some reason, just imagined you to be a big Grinch. What? Yeah, and just be like, ugh, Christmas. What? I'm a child. True. I fucking love this shit. Like... Perhaps I'll get some Christmas themed teddy bears. <laughs> Don't make it worse for yourself, Sorry. buddy. Just let them you go. You know what I haven't got this year? Christmas pajamas. Which I would never ever usually <laughs> have. And you you've, ever. You you've just said to me that you've just said to me that maybe the singing is your biggest cock lock. Mm. It's like buddy. It's just me as a person. It's just, <laughs> it's just me. It's your entire personality. It's just me. Um no, Lou, Lou I'm, a, I'm a real Christmas guy. Mm. We have a, like, Christmas is, like, we all go back to the farm and it's just fucking, you just, like, There's you wake up on Christmas morning, you can pour a whiskey at nine in the morning, crack a beer at nine in the morning, you all open your presents, you're fucking blind by lunch. Mm. You know what I mean? Like. So basically it's just an excuse for you to get drunk because you're addicted to drinking. Yeah, like, I've, I dip my toes into the waters of alcoholism quite regularly, and let me tell you something, those waters are warm, baby. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's like everyone was just drinking, like, you know, seltzers and beers, and you're just drinking a straight bottle of whiskey. 
Do you know what annoyed me at that party? What? Is that every single cunt came up to me and said that. They're like, what are you just drinking straight whiskey? I'm like, how is this fucking different to you drinking a whiskey and fucking, or a rum and coke? I'm just having put coke in it. Yeah, but that's the whole point, mate. No, it's, it's not. rogue. We also Imagine showed up. Imagine if I just started drink, <coughs> sipping on a tequila. I, I wouldn't bat an eyelid. We showed up late as well and they'd been drinking for like four hours, so they were fucking rotten. So I was like, I need to play catch up as well, so I'm like, I'm just going straight, straight whiskey. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, we did play catch up. We got there in the end. We got there pretty quick. My favourite part of the the weekend was when one of our friends said to a girl at he'd been drinking since about eleven a.m. He said, "Should we just get out of here? It's four p.m. Like, like the sun, sun hasn't even gone down. Sun's the the spe- it was a farewell. No, they hadn't done the speeches yet of the fit. Fe- like the party was only really just kicking. It just year. started. He's should we get out of here? And he was so pissed he would have leaned over and like thought he was being sexy and like hey. Should we get out of here? <laughs> she literally says, mate, it is 4 p.m. She's like, nah, like perhaps not. Perhaps uh, we stick around. Also, three of um, three of the more shocking speeches I've heard in my life. I don't, if I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to name the people who spoke. but Just ripping on the poor bloke. So my mate, Joff, who's leaving, one of his mates gets up and he's like, yeah, you know, you're a bit of a fuckwit. Um, you know, you're going over there with... No girlfriend, no job. And then, like, sort of didn't really bring it back that much. <laughs> it, was a, it was just like, so, yeah. And sayonara. Yep, so anyway, mate, have fun. And then Joff the gets up. Best part. Joff <laughs> gets up and just word vomiting, basically. So basically says to his brother's current fiancé, he goes, yeah, look, I thought you were a fucking bitch when I first met you. Um, you know, uh, I, I hated you. Um, and then didn't ever get to to say the next bit because his mum stormed goes, through the crowd and goes, That's enough, Harrison. Harrison, that's enough. Like that. And so he had to stop the speech. And it's like... And then it was just like, done. But why start with that? It's a farewell speech. You're moving overseas. Don't even know how it came into his head. Very drunk. You get being like to me, this could be all yours one day, Lou. Oh, yeah. This whole house could be all yours one day, Lou. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Probably not, Joff. Yeah, yeah. Probably not. Yeah, no, nah, he was a rooster. Farewell, Joff, mate. We'll miss you. Um, red light, green light. Licking the plate when you're done. Fucking red. Red. Uh, uh, you I know, imagined you to be a plate licker. I wouldn't lick a plate, but like, if you had um, like some... I don't know, leftover like sauce or something. Would you grab your finger? <laughs> oh, maybe I'd do it, yeah. There's some leftover sauce or something. Maybe. But <laughs> look, I've got a real problem with um Hygiene? Not hygiene, but people like I remember I was at this person's house and they had a little dog, a little shitty dog, and um they'd finished their dinner. Now they lifted their dog up no. and was holding their dog while we're at the dinner table and the cunt started licking the plate clan. And I actually was a guest of this house. <laughs> and I had to say, hey, you've got to fucking stop that, eh? So and it was out of place for me to say that, but I said, I can't sit at this table while you do that. I'm, I'm really sorry. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's so crook. Isn't that fucked? Even when Yuck. Steph, Steph puts a, eat, I have dinner, put the plate down on the ground and let Kobe lick it off and finish the plate. And I'm like... Stop letting your dog do that, eh? No. I'm not about it. No, because then what if you, like, hand wash it or forget to put it in the dishwasher? You know what I mean? Just... And then the dog, nah. She, you know, he he got into this phase of, like, you'd be putting stuff in the dishwasher and he'd be licking the forks and shit, and I don't even like that. Ugh. I'm like, get off. So I don't lick plates, nor do I let these canines lick plates. No. It, Jill loves Toby so much, and she wouldn't even let Toby do that. That's good. That's a good sign. I just think it's rank. It's disgusting. But what are you, like, licking plate? Like, so are you, you, you're basically saying you finished dinner and, like, you pick but your I pl- don't do it. No, but what oh. I'm saying is that's what you're saying. Yeah, like You pick it up like, off the table and you just start licking yeah, it. Yeah, going, little, little, little. Not a fucking chance I'd do that. Okay, I got one. Mm-hmm. Red light, green light. You're a taken bird at a pub and you are flirting with guys to get them to buy drinks for you all night. Red, yeah, but where's the line? Because like, if you're in a relationship and a guy offers to buy you a drink and you haven't been flirting, I feel like that's play on. Yep, 
Like if, if Sarah's at the bar yep. and I'm just standing there with my mates and this guy's like, oh, I'll get you, get you a drink. I'm, like, I'm, I'm yeah. probably not going to say no. Yep. I'll go, oh, okay, thank you. Yep. And then I'll walk away. But I'm not standing there. Like, how, how peasant are you? Like, buy yourself a fucking $10 drink. You know what I mean? Are you going to flirt with some guy to get you a tequila soda or seltzer? Buy your own. There's, yeah, like, I'm kind of green. Really? Whatever. So if Steph's up at the bar being like, it just, look, there is a, there's a level to it. Yeah. So there's, if it's like, no touching. Harmless yarns, and it's just, he's just, oh, and then like, you're just talking to a bloke, and he's like, yeah, I'll get you a drink. And you're like, no worries. And then you might let the conversation linger for 10 more minutes and get another drink out of him. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. And you go about your business. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, but I mean, going like actively out of your way to go up to the bar to yeah. find someone to buy you a drink. A lot of young girls do that. What? How do you feel if you're sitting by a pool or something and someone sends you over a drink? You drinking it? it? No, if it's been made for me at the bar and someone sends me, oh, have I told you about the story when we were like 19 and we went to no, actually, I think we were like 17. I think we were on fakies. Yeah. Back in New Zealand, and we went out for dinner, and there was a table next to us, and they were like. Honestly, like 35 to 40 year old men oh for God. a stag do. Oh and they were like, a round of shots for the ladies. And we were like, oh, thank you. And then they're like, a round of cocktails for the ladies. Send her another co- round of cocktails. And I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, probably like six rounds of cocktails. There's 15 of us girls. Jesus. Then we go to pay for our meal. They'd paid for our entire table. Oh, that was stinging. And then they go, come to like this bar with us or whatever. The guy gives us his like, um, what's it, like a tab card. Gives us the tab card. And we're buying, back in New Zealand, you could get these like um, fishbowl drinks. And they were like 40 fucking drinks in one. Jesus. And then we're getting like Mars bar shots up at the bar and everything. And then obviously we're just like, see you later. And they're kind of like, oh. Like they were expecting something to be happening. No shit, they and were. And no, thank you. So you're green like? No. Yeah. How's that green light? They were sending them to us. Yeah. We didn't go out of our way to do anything. Oh, uh, true. Yeah. Mate, this podcast is the worst chat we've ever had. Neither of us can agree on anything. We just actual <laughs> dribble. We go round and round and round in circles. What are we saying before? Pants, pants, France, Grant. I'm so sorry, everyone. I also had a bloke come up to me concerned on the weekend because he's like, mate, you cough every time you laugh. He's like, I think you might like have something wrong with your throat. I'm like, yeah, no, shit, can't. It, Got I've, a fucking lump in my throat. It's just been biopsied. Oh, not yeah. cancerous. Yes. So we won that. We won that round. Just reflux. But I'm like, <coughs> he's like, yeah, I'm listening. And he's like, it's concerning. He's like, you must pump lung busters. I'm like, I don't. I, you know, I wasn't going to tell you, mm. but during this podcast, I've like thought I was about to die a few times. Are you feeling real bad? No, just because like, you know, when you can't breathe, like your nose is like blocked and you can't breathe. Buddy, I'm real worried about it. So you. I was like trying to swallow going, like it wasn't letting me swallow. And I was like, oh, oh shit. That's like one of your favourite things to do. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Jack Edward Archdale. Can I not make an innocent comment about how I feel like I'm going to die and you've got to take it to the gutter? <laughs> that's who I am. You know, love I'm me I'm called padlock me. pants for a reason, mate. <laughs> Is that what they call you? <laughs> padlock pants is red hot. Yeah. Anyway, back to why I was dying before you... Nah, just, you so know... So you can't you... breathe through your nose. Yeah, <clears throat> can't breathe. That's my whole life. I've got a thin fucking shitty little head with a thin little fucked up nose and I can't breathe through it. And no chin. And zero chin. But hey, you know what I do have? Good personality? Well, it's subpar. What else have you got? Mr. Meerkat. Mr. McCat. <laughs> That's what I got. That's what I got. So I do have a yarn for you. Mm. <clears throat> We've been yarning about snakes a little bit in the last pod- few podcasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, those acting classes are paying off. Oh, they're a little snake. That's phenomenal stuff. You're getting sleepy. You know the ones that come out of the, the jars and they go, Ew. <laughs> you know the ones? Ooh. You know, you're so mesmerized. I've realised that I turned this podcast into pure smut, and you just turned it into dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a combo! What a combo we are. There's gonna be so much editing for this podcast as well. So I thought this yarn was quite pertinent. Okay. I fi- this would be like your worst nightmare. Five-year-old boy in Byron Bay is walking by his pool. A 10-foot python bites him on the leg 
wraps around his leg, drags him into the pool and was constricting him. And his 76-year-old grandfather came in and had to get him off and get the boy out of the pool. And it was like, it was waiting there for the, for the boy, for the prey. The 76-year-old granddad dived in and saved him, saved his life. Kid was fine. Obviously, he had to get the wound treated and stuff, but they're not venomous. And then he was like, <clears throat> he waited with the snake for ages, released it, and just went straight back to the same spot to stalk more prey. How big did you say it was? It's 10 foot, so I was like three metres. 10 foot. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> just did, that, did that work that out for you? No, I was, just, foot. No, I was just in oh, my head yeah. going, subway foot long, foot. Oh, how many, okay. How many of those? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yuck, yuck. So they're, they're not... <laughs> so they're, they're... That's your unit of measurement. I didn't how think... How many subway foot longs is that? <laughs> When you're looking no, at a house and you rental, so across, <laughs> so like the room across, how many, how many subway foot longs do you think it would be? I'm not even kidding, Judge. If I, if, like, if we're like talking about sharks or something, like, honestly, my brain goes to okay, meatball sub. How long is that in terms of sharks? <laughs> <laughs> That's your unit of measurement. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm not a ruler girl. I'm a no, subway foot. You're long. a subway foot long girl. I'm a sub foot long girl. Okay. In terms of size. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay, worked it out. Yeah, okay, that's 10 meatballs. So it's 10 meatball subs. I didn't realise that pythons would um, be in Byron. Oh, fuck yeah. It's like It seems like a like more of like a town kind of place. Well, no, there's heaps of hinterland there. It's Sorry, quite I'd, tropical. I'd just like to li- live Lugal what the python looks like just to put face to the name. Yeah. Like, I think I know the one. Okay. Pythons. pythons. <laughs> that. Yeah, so it wrapped around the kid's leg. And was constricting his leg and dragged him into the fucking pool. And lucky the granddad was there. Oh, Five year old boy. Oh, That's dinner. That's that freaked night you night. Out. But he's fine now. He's fine. He had to get the wound uh, in, like treated for potential infections. But just because of that. But that teeth. would scar you for life, poor little boy. And the 76 year old dad, he's like Captain Planet. Well, he was like a rooster. I read like the article and the way he was interviewed, and he was just like, um, he's like, yeah, I'm a pretty big fucking bloke, so it didn't worry me too much. But. You know what I mean? Just I don't know what I'd do if you were getting eaten by a python. I would. You would be the last person I'd want there. I, I think I'd just go. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> so dumb. No, I, I, I honestly don't know what I'd do. I know it's what you'd like, do. You'd scream and run away. What do you do in those like fight or flight situations? Like, okay, let me paint a picture for you. You're in your office, mm. and in comes three masked men with guns. What do you do? I, I have no fucking idea. All I know is how I've, like, I'd probably just comply with them. Well, because I had a situation where. Oh, fuck <laughs> you, fucking guy. Where, not the same, but. Oh, it wasn't it? It's <laughs> the free masked men coming into your office with guns. Oh, there's a shock. We did a radio prank, or well, stunt, in yeah. New Zealand, mm. where one of the guys ate one of the Carolina Reapers, which yep. is the spiciest chilli in the world, yeah. or second ch- spiciest, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, then he started to, like, faint, and basically, like, we thought he was going to die. He yep. went the colour green, and no one really knew what to do. The, like, adrenaline took over me, and I was running to the freezer in the fridge and grabbing all the milk and the peas and, like, throwing it on him. Oh, you're a fucking hero, Lou. Jesus <laughs> I love you've equated somehow a guy that was felt like a bit of food was too hot to three master men entering a building unlawfully with fucking high calibre rifles. <laughs> you've equated. Oh, yeah, a guy actually had something that was pretty hot, so I got him some milk to that. You're a fucking hero. I just... <laughs> Can someone get this bird in order of Australia? What I meant, Charge, is that... Like, you don't know how your body's going to go. Like, the, what I mean is, if I was in that situation with the three gunsmen, perhaps the adrenaline would kick in like it did in that situation. Fuck, they'd put a bullet straight through your cerebellum. You reckon? Oh, you'd be fucked. I know, I know that I will, I, I will react as a fighter. I know that because I've been in situations where it's like, even the other day, like, I, it was like four o'clock in the morning. I'd got up to take a piss. I could hear something in the kitchen and I'm like, what the fuck? I walk into the kitchen and there's a bloke climbing through the window and I went, who the fuck are you? And I sprinted towards him and I was ready to fucking clock this cunt. And it was Guy, my <sighs> housemate, who had got in. He was going to the gym really early. Because I'm thinking, who is coming in at four o'clock in the morning? But I just screamed and ran at him and I was like, I was like, I was going to punch him as hard as I could. 
And then... Um, he was like, Judge, it's Guy, it's Guy, it's Guy, it's Guy. And dude, like afterwards, I was just shaken. I had to stand on the bench and just breathe heavily for like five minutes. I'm like, cunt, you nearly killed me. That was the scariest shit. I Seeing would someone climbing not through your window. be doing that if I saw that or heard a noise. But he, Guy was like, well, at least we know, like... You've got, you've got the big you've dog got our back. or the big dog but I said, or no. anything that happens. Oh, don't worry, Judge, he's coming. Oh, yeah, she's he's coming with us. He's oh, coming with. He's, he's coming with two tickets to the gun show. Oh, the right oh, and the wait. left. Oh wait, here's the Lou's, big, the big dog. Here's Lou's phenomenal comedic style, just yelling over people again. Whoa, hey, that was the best. Keep, keep doing that. No, no, uh, it's hilarious. No, I'm proud Lula, of you. Continue. I'm proud no, no, of you. But what you didn't let me finish saying was, I was absolutely terrified. And afterwards, I was shaking with adrenaline, and I had to like, I had to like, like completely recompose myself. But if and it you're took so like an scared and you still do that, that's heroism. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I love you. It is, mate, because not everyone would do that. It's like those people who, you know, someone's I think stolen the bus would. and they're trying to run it down the highway, and then the person from the back of the bus runs and Are stops. Are you talking about Speed? I don't the movie know. Speed with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock? Am I? I think you might be. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Perhaps. I think most people, to be fair, would probably react like that. Steph's in the bedroom there. I would assume Guy's in the bedroom. It's just like, just get mm. this cunt out of here. Oh, do you want to do something new on the pod? Yeah. Peak pit and something you learned of the week. Oh, fuck off with this self-help shit. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, are you, you know, you're not, not yeah, for you. Yeah, whatever. I used to always do it to my, my mum always loves doing it. I used to always do it to my ex-boyfriend. He'd be like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. I'll it's do not it with- self-helpy. It's like highs and lows. Okay, let's do it. Well, so peak, favourite part, pit, not so good, and something you've learned. Mm-hmm. Peak was, uh, peak was the, the party on the weekend. Pitt was doing this segment on the podcast. Something I've learned, I fucking hate this segment on the podcast. <laughs> you do yours. <clears throat> okay, this will be the first and last time we ever do Pete and Pitt and something you learn. Um, peak Correct. would be, yeah, just a fun fun time over the weekend. Well, Look, good laughs, good people, um, good food, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and Pitt would probably be, oh, Gianni got a big bird poo on him. And then something I learnt, um, you don't know how you'll react in a situation until the adrenaline kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst podcast of all time. <laughs> of all time. Yes, yes. Like, there's nothing of note this week. Let's just do the bed with a hotline. Yeah. We've resorted to peak pit and fucking something you've learnt. Oh, actually, no, well, I may as well say it now. Yeah. Do you ever realise that you call things the wrong word? Like my whole entire life, like you know when you've got a um, sink and you've got the insincorator, so you like put shit down and, and uh, it whirs around? Yeah. Until I went home to New Zealand about four weeks ago and yeah. I was with my brothers, we, they told me that it's not called the gurgler. You thought it was called the gurgler? Yeah. Why? They the, the gurgles. Because they, I used. To, it was just what we said in our family. Oh. So we'd be like, "Oh, put it down the gurgler." That was your nickname as an eight-year-old. <laughs> 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 you were the one. You, they didn't need an insincorator. They had the gurgler, which was just put it in the gurgler. It was just you just standing at the end of the table with your mouth wide open like that, <laughs> just shoveling fucking leftovers into your gob. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there needs to be an eight-year-old Lou wrecking every single body, and it, I had to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, should we throw this out? Oh, nah, <laughs> chuck it in the Google. Oh. It's just you, end of the table. They've even built like a little device where you can just pour the fucking grub into. This goes in your mouth. <laughs> More. More. There's nothing left, Lou. More. More. <laughs> More. Give it to the gurgler. <laughs> oh shit, wrecked. Um, no, I, so I know what you mean, and yeah, I do do that. All, also, dumb shit I do is not realise why something is called it. I just call it it. So, for example, 
not that this was one of them, but like state of origin. Just calling it state of origin. Oh yeah, state of origin. State, state of, of origin. O. And then it's sorry. State of O. That's what I always used to call it. You used to call it state of O. Yeah. You've never called it state of O. I swear on my life, I used to say, "Will you be watching the state of O?" Well, you're a fucking lemon. Why? Because why would you do that? Oh, it's state of O. Oh yeah, just like let's just like abbreviate origin. See? Well, it's like calling them the bloody maroons and the bloody blues, mate. <laughs> you know. State of O. Jesus Christ, Lou. Um, no, but like thinking of that, I remember being like 14, I'm like, oh, it's because it's the state of origin. It's the, the origin of, it's the state with which they originated. Yes. So like Stump how. shit, you know what I mean? But yes. you just call it what it is without realising the meaning behind it. Yes. I do that a lot. Yeah. I'm trying to think of something, but I can't. It's one of them fucking days. I can't. Like, like um, there'd be heaps I could think of, but I can't. Yeah. All I can, for some reason, think of is Veles Navidad. There's nothing to do with it. I'm just, it's just in my head. Oh, is it? Oh, cool. Oh, man, this is a struggle, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Veles Navidad. Dun, da, dun, dun. Veles Navidad. Okay. Prospera. We've got to get Lou home to bed. They told me pa ra pa pam pam. you got to shut the fuck up. We've got to get you home to bed. A newborn king to see pa ra pa pam pam. Oh, fuck. We used to go to Christmas carols. It's our family friend's house. We were like, no. Okay. Jart just had enough of me. I saw no, mommy fuck. kiss nah. and say. Nah. Bed with us hotline. Underneath the mistletoe that night. You've got to shut the fuck up, man. He didn't hear me peep. Oi, I'm all got headphones on. So shut up. Ow. <laughs> all right, bed with a hotline. Thank you to all you bedwet and sons of bitches for calling in. We I love, love the hotline. Love the hotline. Came for some wreckings today. Well, fucking good. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. G'day, you cunny funds. I've got a red light, green light here for you. People who think they're really good at things and then immediately prove they're complete dog shit at it. Anyways, cheers, lads. Cheers, lads. Another wrecking. Complete dog shit. Well, I mean, everything that I've said I'm good at, I've proven to be pretty good at besides Sim- from dark simply the opposite we need to go to the driving range mate and i'll show oh, you we up. do too yeah you won't uh, h- how good was that charades today <sighs> probably as good as anyone would be now um you want to put a wager on the golf like a bet yeah yes please she's not confident <laughs> no a uh, uh, hundred dollars right. hundred bucks shake on it <laughs> bed winners for life Hundred bucks, I absolutely fucking nail you at the golf course. What, what, what? Where are we trying to get it to? The furthest one. For, yeah, the furthest. No, that's unfair because you'll be able to hit it further. It's twenty twenty two. We're equal. But perhaps we pick a spot that we both have to get. Yep, Done. closest to pin or something like Bring that. Bring it on, little I'm bitch. Fucking smoke you, dog. Yeah, mate, I'm red for that. Lou's clearly <laughs> green. Can confirm. Just spotted Louisa at the wharf bar, and she is getting it right now. Bed wet is for life. <laughs> <laughs> we were out at Wharfy. What did uh, he say? Just saw Louisa and you you must have been dancing or something at Wharf Bar. And she <laughs> is getting it right now. <laughs> um, it's amazing that they've gone out of their way to call up and say I know, we could see her. At Wharf Bar. I love the bedwinners came up to us quite a bit over the weekend. I loved it. I got a DM. I got a DM oh, being yes. like, G'day. Um oh, I just saw you and Lou at Wharf Bar, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh I'm Oh, yeah. I was like, next time you see see us, you know, come up and say good day. And then she just sent the photo of me with my arm around her, my arm around her mate. She's like, no, no, I, I, we, you, we did. <laughs> we, we had a full conversation. Yeah, I was, we spoke. And I look fucking ratchet Amazing. in the photo. Amazing. Post yeah. that on the close friends. Okay, yeah, I will. All right. Um, the cream pie crew. Hey, Dutch and Lou. Just wanted to ring up the hotline and let you guys know I am an actual bedwetter. I genu- genuinely fucking pissed the bed last night <laughs> after a night out. Go off, Queen. I woke up in the morning thinking, fuck, I'm a real fucking bedwetter. Love the podcast, guys. Keep it up. Oi, not- Love you, Lou. Yes. 
There's not a better feeling. Not not a better feeling than waking up and you've pissed yourself <laughs> on a Saturday night. I am you so... You couldn't dream of a better feeling. I am so fucking proud of you. Just know that. So proud. We both are. So proud. When anyone calls up... And they've and pissed says, the bed. They've pissed the bed. We're like two fucking proud parents at yeah. a graduation watching them graduate. And we're standing up there. Welcome to the world, kid. You've, You've done, done it. it. Uh, g'day, gentlemen. <laughs> just wanted to ring up and pretty much just refer to Lou as a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Hey, lads. G'day, blokes. Yeah. I'm happy with it. I like it. I'm really happy with it. That's a good reckon. You wanted some reckons, I love though. It. You said it. I need it. I got tough skin, mate. You Wrap do. it up. Hey, fellas. Uh, <laughs> just wanted to quickly check something. Lou, you're doing acting lessons, but weren't you already in that movie? Back in 97 with Liz Robin Williams? You know the green thing? Flubber? Wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Flubber. That, that was literally f- me as an eight-year-old. That is fucking good stuff. That is so good. The bedwetters are funnier than us. Oh, fucking oh. They are so funny. By a mile. By a mile. Flubber. Hi, Legends. How are you? Good. Meet the South Coast correspondent from Wollongong. I've got a red light, green light for you. This is a big fucking green light for me, by the way. When you get on from work, you're in the shower, you're steaming it up. You get your index finger, you close one nostril, and you hook the fuck out of the other one oh. into the shower. Oh, baby. You get all that shit all over the shower and watch it wash down into the fucking... Talk block. dirty to me. Red light, green light. What fucking do you reckon? Thanks, gr- boys. <laughs> no, Thanks, right. boys. Thanks, just boys. Jesus. Does he mean like blowing it out just one a nostril? Just a bushman's blowing the shower. You do that on the street. That's correct. In fact, today I made Steph, because I promised her I'd never do it in front of her again, so I made her just walk in front of me. I said, you got to keep walking. Stay back here, and I just fucking drilled it out, and I fuck. Why I don't good. you just carry some tissues <coughs> or a handkerchief? Because it's not 1930. Franco carries a handkerchief. Yeah, like it's 1930. Well, he was not born in the 30s. When was he born? 1956. Close enough. He's calling Franco a loser. No. Well, it sounds like you are I'm calling him old school. I'm not old school, dog. I'm a modern day man. So I bushman no, blow. I think the people's you've just driveways. covered your ass here. No. I think Franco came to Sydney. He'd. Put that handkerchief up, up your nose. It's an odd threat. Sorry. <laughs> Come here while I put this hanky up your nose. I'll be like, is that a euphemism? What are we talking? <clears throat> um, mate, that's a big green from me. I love a bushman's blow and fucking, it just clears you out. Yeah, steamy shower, bus bus. You make got to make sure you get it down the drain though. I have been known to accidentally leave maybe some remnants on the wall that I didn't Yuck. see hit the wall. But that's life. Snotty little grub. Hey, excuse me, my senorita. Excuse me, senorita. So you'd never do a bushman's blow? No, I'd just blow it into my nose. Did you? I mean... Let's get you home, buddy. I'd just blow my nose. Let's get you home. Uh, good day, Jen. <laughs> um, Bailey of the Sunshine Coast. Just wanted to call up and uh, let you know a quick story that happened to my missus. So she went to the gynecologist uh, to get just a checkup. And she gets really bad anxiety. Anyway, she um, went there and it was all going well and Doc saw something he didn't like. So he wanted to have a um, bit, bit of a further inspection. So he got out a scalpel and um, started having a prick and a poke. And my missus was freaking out. And he was trying to calm her down and she was still freaking out. So he offered to numb it for her. Num, 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 num. <laughs> That's sick. That's <laughs> fucked. Oh, he had me. He, he had fucking me. had me. I was <laughs> like, oh my God, what's he going to find? Oh, he fucking had me. Num, 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 num. I'm really fucking happy with that. He had me go. I was like, oh, mate, what's going to happen? Same. Because you know what? He's like, you know, she's got a bit of anxiety. Yeah. This has been a tough one. It's, I'm, yeah. Perhaps people will enjoy it, though. You never know. Sometimes you think it's shit, and then other people actually think it's really good. It's like on days when you feel shit about yourself, like if you're like, oh, I look really ugly today. Apparently, people see you 30% hotter or 30% better than you see yourself. Really? Yeah, right. Well, 
Okay. So they say you 30% hotter every single day. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Huh? You go out thinking you're ugly. You've got low self-esteem. That was the joke. Oh, no, I don't. I'm just... No, you don't. You don't I have low d- self-esteem. It's quite the opposite. Um, almost. <laughs> one would say arrogant. Yeah, one would argue you could be arrogant. Nah, you guys know that I'm not that. Is it? Yeah, no, not at all. No, I'm not. This, I, I, would, I would argue that this podcast would be not dissimilar to like watching uh, like a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> Was it that bad? You can't take your eyes off it, but... Yeah. I, I, if I'm being honest with you, I don't really remember it. I've lucked out. Do you, uh, what, did, what did we talk about? A lot of shit, dude. What did we start with? I can't remember. Oh, mate, a lot of fucking toilet shit. But I, honestly, but I've had fun. I, and so hopefully, you bedwetters have had fun. Hopefully, sorry if it wasn't that fun. We'll be funner next week. No, I reckon we'll sweep. Um, thank you so much for listening. We love you guys. Love you so much. Uh, we're bloody. Um, <laughs> Ch- Chachi is the handle at Louisa Dalton. Is the handle at We Mean Well. Yeah, get us to 10K on the old IG. We're getting there. Yeah, come on. We're getting there. Uh, We love you guys. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. Ciao, ciao.